Eric, meantime, another big story here. Grand jury has decided to not file charges against a police officer who shot and killed Dre Jean Reed. Now, after the grand jury announced that decision, Indiana State Police walked us through their analysis of all the evidence. CBS 4's Lexa Green shows us what their investigation found. Indianapolis State Police Superintendent Doug Carter says there were two main goals of this investigation. The first was to explain to the family of Drejan Reed what happened that day and also to the people of Indianapolis. Now we do want to warn our viewers, some of the videos and photos that you're about to see, you might find disturbing. It was back in May, IMPD officer DeJour Mercer shot and killed Reed during a foot pursuit near 62nd and Michigan Road. Some of that pursuit, it was streamed live on Reed's Facebook page. Investigators say they used surveillance videos, spoke with witnesses, brought in ballistic experts and a shooting reconstructionist. They were able to determine Officer Mercer initially used his taser as Reed was reaching for his weapon, but that taser didn't create a circuit. Then investigators say a total of 15 shots were fired, but shots six and seven, they go off at the same time, which investigators say simply cannot come from the same gun. Investigators do say Reed was armed. They show photos of that gun in that Facebook Live video. According to police, DNA on that gun matches Reed's, and investigators were able to trace the gun's serial number. Serial number was scratched off. We had our, our lab folks restore that serial number. We did a trace on that. We found that that pistol was obtained by Mr. Reed from a pawn shop in Texas. Following the grand jury's decision, protesters took to the streets of downtown Indy. Some of Reed's family also showed up. That includes Reed's aunt, who says she does not believe justice was served. You didn't have to shoot him that many times. He didn't deserve it, regardless of what anybody felt about him. IMPD also released a statement that said in part, quote, we understand that this result may be frustrating for some of our residents, but it is our hope that the full transparency offered will help to bring us closer to healing the division in our community. Mayor Joe Hogsett also released a statement saying in part, while this decision ends the criminal review, he understands it doesn't heal the divides that still exist in our community. That's the latest in the newsroom. Alexa Green, CBS 4 News.